Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about this glute ham raise that I've had for the past five months. I picked it up used from a buddy who was consolidating his own public gym and I got a really good deal on it that I couldn't pass up. However, this video is not about this specific GHD. Instead, I wanna talk about should you buy one? And it's interesting because it's a decision that I've really hemmed and hawed on for quite some time. In fact, a number of years now. And it really came down for me the decision between this or something like a reverse hyper. Because when I took a look at either piece of equipment, they really kind of fall into the same category in my decision making process. And that is things that are very expensive, take up a lot of floor space, and also might not have very high usability or versatility. Meaning that they could just end up sitting around and I keep my pre-workout or my cell phone or I rest on these things between sets, which is definitely true regardless of how usable they are. These things are great kind of elbow rests and kind of taking a breather, if you will. But that being said, two very different machines, but two very similar aspects again in what they are in terms of the price, floor print, and usability. Now, for me initially, I actually made the mistake, for me, of going with the reverse hyper. And you might recall a video I did a couple of years ago it was basically 15 to 20 minutes long, me complaining about the reverse hyper. A lot of people said I was crying in that video, but there were no tears shed. It was just a mistake on my part. And I initially went reverse hyper in my decision-making process just because I thought the potential return was higher, meaning that I've heard a lot of people say that reverse hypers are lifesavers and game changers when it comes to your lower back health. I didn't find that was the case for me. And at the time I looked at the GHD as, it's just a GHD. You can do a lot of hamstrings, glutes, a lot of posterior chain work. You can do some ab sit-ups if you want to do on that. But there was nothing sexy about it like the reverse hyper was. Now, unfortunately, again, for me, I found the reverse hyper didn't help me much, so I ended up selling it. And I was hesitant to pick up a glute ham raise because I was afraid it was going to be the same case. But again, for me, I found this thing to be great. I love it. I would highly recommend it if you want to buy one. But the question is, should you buy one? And my response to that question would be, I don't think so. Again, given the fact that these things are typically pretty expensive, starting at around $400, depending on which brand you're looking at, they do get very pricey. In fact, if you take a look at some of the high-end commercial ones, you might be paying like $3,000 for one, which I'm sure many of you wouldn't want to do, but they're out there. And the footprint themselves usually take up a lot of space. This particular one, which I would consider about the norm for size, takes up a full four by six stall mat. So I think that's the easiest way for people to kind of get a feeling for the space that these are going to require. Think about a four by six space in your gym. If you're only in a 12 by 12 space, that's going to eat up a good amount of your footprint. So again, the fact that these take up a lot of footprint is tough, especially when you combine it with the last point, which is the usability and versatility of it. Now, obviously the usability is gonna come down to you. If you buy any piece of equipment, are you going to use it or not? That's your call. The versatility on this, while it is somewhat high, is you can do more than just a glute ham raise. You can do sit-ups, you can do hyper extensions, all sorts of different things, side bends. You can throw bands on here, depending on the model you have. I find a lot of those things, while they're great on a GHD, you can likely do them with a little bit of ingenuity and a rack and some bands or a bench, dumbbells. So you can work around ways to get this without having to pay that very high entry cost to play and or taking up any extra space because you're using equipment that you already have in there. But again, at the end of the day, if you really want one, I think you should buy one if you want one with those caveats I've already listed. But for most general people, unless you're dead set on getting a GHD and you're just watching this video as a reason to consider something, I wouldn't consider it unless you're already fully committed that you want one because even though the benefits are plentiful, the price, the footprint, the versatility, usability, I don't think are there for many people. Now again, I will say I will actually review this particular model, the Rogue Abram 2.0 in a later video. If you have anything specific you'd like me to cover in that video, leave that in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.